Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and in this RPG Maker AV tutorial I am going to show you how to make variable weapons. Um, we're basically going to be using the lunatic mode for uh, Yanfly's equip core. So you'll need a few plugins for that. You're going to need the Yanfly core engine and you're going to need the Yanfly equip core. Um, we're going to take a look at some of the lunatic mode uh, custom parameters and uh, talk about a few ideas that you can do with those things. So. Um, to start off, I have us right here in this uh, in the help file for the equip core, which is going to be uh, your main source, your main point of reference when you're trying to come up with custom parameters. But there's predefined parameters that you're going to have to learn how to uh, learn learn what they are. So here they are, and they're defined right here as max HP, max MP, attack, defense, magic attack, magic defense, all of the stats basically, and including the all uh, the all. Uh, stat which is going to, to basically if you add one to this it's going to give one to all of them so we're going to be creating something like this but um, let me show you my uh, items that I've uh, th show you what I've done in my game and then you can use this as a, a template or another reference to to change it up and, and set set the skills how the weapons in the in your skills how you would like to use them um, little trick, uh, if you want to reference a variable in any text dialog, you would just do a forward slash and a V, and then in the brackets you'd put the number of the variable that you want to reference. So when you equip this fire rod plus one, <clears throat> in the description you'll see what your current fire skill is, since I'm using my fire skill as the first variable in the game. Um, so basically this item is going to increase your attack and your magic attack based off of that variable. So in my game, how you would increase this variable is you would use a skill, and the skill would add one to the variable. So if I go down to my wildfire skill, it's calling on a common event, and there's several ways. You can do a, a, an action sequence note tag that just adds to a variable. That'd be the easier way to do it. But if you don't want to do any action sequences, you don't have to. You can create a common event, and in that common event, it's just going to control variables. So you would control variables, add one to whatever variable you want. In this case, we're referencing variable location number one, and we're adding one to that. So whenever we use this skill, it's going to call in this common event, which adds to one to the variable. So this variable is also referenced in the damage formula you see right here. So as, you're, as you use this skill, it's going to get stronger and stronger and stronger each time you use it. But that's not the only thing that's getting stronger. It's adding one to that variable. So when we go to our weapons, we're using this custom parameter on the weapon to determine how much attack power and magic attack power this rod is going to give us. So this fire staff or fire rod plus one is going to continue to level up with the character as the character uses that skill and every other skill that uses that damage formula that increases the variable. You can also increase variables uh, through other means. I've talked about it, I think, I forgot what I named this tutorial. It's, maybe it's variables or something to do with variables, but Basically, uh, I made a skill called Hadouken and uh, made it so that when you beat a boss, you would add a thousand to that variable. So you can uh, just award uh, set bonuses for completing tasks or missions or quests or killing bosses uh, and then increase the variables that way. So there's just a number of, a huge number of ways to increase your variable. But um, this is going to show you how to, um, this what you would type right here is going to increase the attack and the magic attack. So to start off, we put our well, we create our weapon and we give it any base stats we want. Usually you would go with zero if you're going to be determining what it is based off of variables. So I have gave it no parameters. This is a fire staff, so I've added an attack element of fire, and I've done the same thing with the ice one and the earth one, and it's uh, basically adding physical and earth attack with it. So in the parameters here, you would type custom parameters, capital C and capital P with a space in between in, uh, in uh, bracket signs or braces, I think they're called. Or maybe these are brackets. No, these are braces. No, these are brackets. Yeah, somebody will tell me that I'm right or wrong. Um, then you would go ATK. This is a predetermined, um, predefined as it shows in the help file uh, point of reference here. So we're saying our attack power is equal to and this is a uh, one line of JavaScript that's saying, that's calling on that variable one. So dollar sign game capital V on variables dot value. And in the uh, parentheses, that's the number of the variable that you're calling. So we're, for fire, we're calling on variable one. For ice, it would be two here. 
for Earth, you would see that we have three here. And then uh, this is just dividing the number by two. So once we've called on this variable, you can have it set exactly to that variable, or you can have it that variable times something, or plus something, or any operand you want. So in this case, <clears throat> I want the attack to be divided by two. So that variable is going to, uh, this variable divided by two is going to determine the attack bonus that this staff is, this rod is giving. And it's also um, going to add magic attack divided it by five. So if we use a, a, a fire, we use the wildfire skill, it's going to increase our, our wildfire, or our variable one, which is our fire skill. So if we use it ten times, then it's going to give us five extra attack, and it's going to give us two extra magic attack. Uh, and for the point of this game, since the skill is already getting stronger, since it's using the variable in the damage formula, I wanted to make the magic attack uh, a little bit less of a bonus than the than the regular attack. Um, that way, your magic attack doesn't get too strong too fast. Um, but uh, through through some uh, severe testing, this was an early thing I, I created a couple, three months ago, basically. Um, <clears throat> no, two months ago. Two months ago. MV's only been out for two months. So two months ago, I came up with this little um, uh, point, way of, of using my weapons, but I found out that towards the middle of the game, it just scales incredibly powerfully. Uh, it's too powerful, so um, I haven't awarded these items in-game anywhere. But um, this is one way that you can do it. You would just adjust the numbers uh, differently and uh, maybe not use uh, in increasing the, the damage by each time you cast the skill or maybe create a counter so that when the counter gets to 10 it'll increase the skill or something like that. or you could just end up dividing this number by an additional 10 so there's several ways that you can do that um, I've just sort of left it alone since then but basically you can make uh, any of your stats uh, be changed with variables so that's all you'd really have to do and there's several uh, different things you can come up with by adding um, custom parameters to your weapons so hopefully you guys like this quick little tutorial on how to make, uh, how to use variables with your weapons and uh, have them determine your parameters. So if you did like this video, remember to thumbs up, like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being awesome. And we will see you in the next tutorial.